welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit of an impromptu one. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know exactly what this is all about. So I am going to do today a review, unboxing, a bit of a talk through of my new Gucci loafers. I say it's a bit of everything because I did get these a few days ago and I already own a pair of Gucci loafers. I will tag the video here. I've done two videos so far. I've done one of my one year review of the Gucci loafers and another one of when I took them to get soles put on them. And this one is a bit of both of those put together with the unboxing of the new shoes. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the video. So at this point, I can imagine you're saying to yourself, but Kath, you haven't mentioned these to us. We haven't discussed this. You haven't done a video on things you might want to buy. No, I didn't. Occasionally, and it is quite occasionally, when something is released that makes your heart pitter-patter and you can't get it out of your head, uh, that's when you need to jump. So um, I've talked through my kind of luxury items before, not too much because I'm still quite kind of new to the whole luxury thing. I don't want to keep banging on about it because I know not everybody can afford it, not everybody likes it, you know, so I don't talk about it too much. But um, I do love me a bit of Gucci and everybody will have, if you like designer goods, you'll have your own specific type of designer which fits in with your personal style. And to me, Gucci is the one because, as I have said before, my style is quite classic. It's quite um, smart, casual. I love loafers. So um, I have had these a good few days now. I have started to break them in and uh, we'll do a little unboxing. I'm going to put some B-roll here of me actually receiving the shoes and how they looked when they first came and the actual unboxing because I'll be really honest, I could not wait. I received them on Wednesday at about lunchtime and I was so good, I didn't open the box until I got home at about 6 p.m. but I was going out for dinner with a friend that night so I couldn't really do a video, like an unboxing video and I'll be really honest, I'm not patient enough to wait until the next day to do it. I wanted to basically bring the shoes to work the following day, wear them around the office, try and break them in a little bit to see if they were the kind of shoes that I wanted. Um, and the reason I say that is because, as you will see from the B-roll, they are coated canvas. And um, I was really unsure about the sizing, so I obviously bought them online. And I think with designer shoes, that is the way to go because obviously in a store, in a shop, you get to try them on for a couple of minutes and you think, oh great, you walk out and then you go home and you think, oh my God, I'm, I can't walk. They're really painful, what have you. So at least if you do order designer shoes online, you can walk around with them at home. You have got that option to wear them for a good few days on carpet before you commit. And um, the sizing with Gucci leather is they recommend you size down either a half size or a full shoe size down. Now with my Gucci loafers, my leather ones, I did size down a half size. I'm a size five, which is a 38 Italian and a size five in the UK. So I bought a 37.5, which is a four and a half. They were great in the leather ones, absolutely fantastic. I asked the lady when they called me to tell me that these shoes were selling out really quickly. If I wanted to jump on it, I had to jump on it. And I, um, I asked her about the sizing and she said, go with the size you normally go for because the inside is leather. So I was like, okay, fine. So I did. Um, now, I will, you know, you've seen the unboxing, you've seen the beauty of the shoes. Let me show you in person how the box came and everything. So that's the outside of the box, obviously. Uh, inside, I've tried to replicate it as much as possible, but I'm very, you know, I, I was very impatient. So in here, you have your um, receipt and your authenticity cards and stuff like that and care and things. And you have like a little uh, thank you note from Gucci, which is always a nice little touch. And then inside you get your receipt and uh, all of that business. Then they also give you a nice little tote bag, which I quite like, which is just to put the shoes into if you're ever traveling. Nice little touch. I'll be using that for my lunch. Thank you very much. 
And then the inside of the box is just the beautiful paper. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, as soon as this video is over, I'm ditching the paper because the noise drives me crazy. And each shoe comes in its own little dust bag, which I do like. Now, uh, these are the shoes, as you have seen already. They are canvas, so they are a different material. They are blue, navy blue, with the blue Supreme monogram in there. And what I love is the horse bit is silver. The detailing is silver, which is a big plus for me. I love silver. I wear silver jewellery. I love the gold because I have a gold belt in my black ones, but it's nice to have a separate pair. And I find these just a lot more casual than the black ones, which is what I went for. And the reason I love the blue, because in past years, this is like a summer edition. In past years, they've done red, they've done burgundy, which are beautiful. But to me, blue matches jeans. So I'm like, this is the one for me. These are the ones I want. And I jumped on it so fast, I can't even begin to tell you. And I did still go for a size 37 and a half. Um, they are tighter. I think, than my leather ones were initially. They still need to be broken in a little. I've worn them for two days now. I didn't wear them yesterday because it was just too hot and um, I was doing a lot of walking and stuff and I didn't want to risk it. So I'm gonna be wearing them all, all day after I've shot this video. Now, let's discuss the socks situation because that is a question I get all the time with these loafers. Now, I do wear socks with my loafers because I don't want the inside to get horrible and when you wear no socks on leather they squeak and it sounds quite rude and I have found the perfect pair of socks and I've told you in my previous Gucci videos but these socks are the best for the loafers and these are the Skechers trainer socks and the reason I love them is they go round the toes they don't go too far forward so you don't see the tips at the front of the shoe so like let me show you if you're wearing socks sometimes you see the tips of the socks here i hate that so you don't see any of this sock they're really low on the sides and the back has a bit of rubber that secures it in place so you don't end up with the back bit around the bottom of your shoe and they're not doing the job these are amazing, I will link them below and I'm inserting a little B-roll here of me actually putting the shoes on with these loafers so you can see how great they look. And another tip, as you will see on the video, is when you first buy these shoes, you will need a shoehorn because um, they are tight, especially if you size down. If you're true to size and you wanna risk that, if you have maybe wider feet, then that's great. For me, my feet aren't, they're not narrow, they're not wide, they're just kind of in between, they're just like normal. Um, but I still needed the shoehorn to be able to get them in properly. Now, I'm not concerned because if my memory serves me correctly, this is the same issue I had with the um, leather ones and within three to four wears, wearing them, you know, all day around the house, da 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 da, they just go like slippers. And now my leather ones are honestly, Next to my Dr. Martins, they are the most comfortable shoes I own in the world. So let's now discuss the sole issue. In my one year review of my Gucci Jordan loafers, I showed you my shoes were unsold. I will show you the picture here. Now, what I mean by that is when you buy Gucci loafers, the sole is a leather sole. I didn't realize this, as I said, I'm very new to the whole world of this, but once I posted that video and it started to get views, the comments were like, no, they're leather soles, da da da. And the jury was always out as to whether you should get them sold or not get them sold. And what I mean by that is have soles put on the bottom of the shoes. Some people were like, oh God, no, the Gucci wanted them to be that way. This is how they're meant to look. It's the Italian leather, it's the craftsmanship, blah, 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 blah. But the other half were like, do you want to die slipping over and breaking your neck? Now, as I mentioned before, I have issues with my knees. I can't um, wear high heels anymore. I can't run and stuff. So for me, having a decent pair of flats is really important. So once I tried these on and I knew they were felt the same as the other ones, the first thing I did was take them to get soles. Now, 
people will either go yes or they'll go oh what have you done to your beautiful shoes now at the end of the day nobody's really going to see the bottom of these nobody's going to pay attention i personally really value my health and when i say they are slippery without the soles on because obviously i've got a bit of you know grip there i mean when i walk across my floor at work when i walk into the building um it's like marble floor and they polish it every morning I swear the first time I wore my my black ones into the office, I almost fell really, really badly. So for me, what's the point in having a beautiful pair of shoes, looking all fine and fabulous, if you're walking like you're gonna go to the toilet? Not the one. So I paid 12 pounds to get these sold, which kind of kills me because the shoes are very expensive. Um, this pair so my my black pair i bought them two years ago and they were 465 pounds i think before the price hike went up and again if you don't know luxury fashion lots of price increases every year quite a few and um now these and again i don't know if it's because they're limited edition don't know if they're summer ones or what have you were 595 pounds now i do sigh when i say that and I am one of those people that's like, you did what? But hear me out. The reason I can justify this to myself is because I wear my black ones a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean at least two or three times a week to work, at least once at the weekend. I've had them for two years and they are still impeccable. Cost per wear, I'm like, okay, they're a lot of money. They're a very considered purchase, but look at them. They're so beautiful and they go with everything and they are gonna last me for decades. They are going to have to. And the canvas, it's so tightly woven. They're so well made. Honestly, like it's hard to show you in a video. It really is. But the detailing and the comfort, I mean, even now they are a little tight, but they're not uncomfortable at all. And once your feet kind of warm in them a little bit and they, you can feel them kind of stretching, you know that in a week or so, you know, depending on how often you wear them, they are really going to stretch out and you're going to have a really, really comfortable pair of shoes. And um, I hate to admit, but I'm a bit of a logo ho. The Gucci detailing and the monogram. I just love it. And even if you just wore this with jeans, a white t-shirt and a bag, you're good to go. And you know what? For the level of style these give, I think they are 100% worth the money. I'm not even angry about it. I'm not even, you know, because I didn't plan for these. Like I just, I saw them, I had them to my wish list. A sales associate contacted me and was like, as you're one of our preferred customers, this can't be good. Um, I wanted to let you know we're running really low. But if you want a pair, I can secure you a pair, but you have to buy them now. And I just thought, what the hell? I added them to my basket or to my wish list on the Friday and all weekend I kept going back and looking and going, oh, they're stunning. And I got the call Monday afternoon and I was like, do you know what? The Gucci gods want me to have the shoes. So you know what? We're going to have the shoes. So um, as that's that, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I am going to do a little question and answer thing that you guys sent me on Instagram. I put the questions out. If you have any questions, let's do the questions. So one of the questions that I got was, well, it's not even a question, it was just a comment. They look stunning. They go with everything. Yes, they do. I haven't tried them on with loads of different outfits because as I've explained before, I basically wear black jeans, black tops, blue jeans, black tops. My style is very simple. I wear blazers with jeans and I just know if you wear a pair of loafers anyway, you know that they go with everything. These are just going to go with absolutely everything. Um, another question was, are they slippery? Yes, they were, as you saw awfully slippery hence you do have to get them sold i think you, you genuinely really do and the other question i got was are they true to size i think i've answered that but just to recap um leather loafers by gucci especially um size down 
I obviously it depends on you and your foot. Maybe it's best to go into store just to get some advice, try a couple of pairs on, and then I would advise buy them online because, as I said, you get more chance to um, to try them on. But um, for me, sizing down the half size, when I first got them, I was like, my God, these are tight. But as I walked around for a bit, you know, they're fine. They get quite tight around the top bit, but that's where they stretch out. So once you've worn them, as I say, three or four times tops. And the first time I wore them, I wore them in the office for the day. Um, so like, what, eight hours? And then on Saturday, I wore them around the house and outside just up the road and stuff for like six or seven hours. And right now I've got them on right now and I'm going to wear them for the rest of the day indoors. Um, with the coated canvas or with the canvas, I will have to be a bit more careful than I am with the leather ones. I wouldn't necessarily wear them when it's going to rain or if the weather looks really dodgy. Um, and I do that same with my leather loafers. I think I explained in my last video as well that I really only wear loafers in the spring and summer and the autumn. Rarely do I wear them in winter because in London it's too cold. Um, even if you have a nice day, your ankles are exposed if you wear them with the, the low socks and the jeans and stuff. If you have your ankle exposed, it's freezing. So I, I really only wear them probably, I don't know, six months of the year. But when I do, boy, trust me, I get a lot of wear out of them. And the great thing about having the two pairs now is that the other pair will hopefully last longer because I'll wear them more to work and to more like formal things. And these ones I will wear to more weekend lunches and shopping and stuff like that. Um, so guys, that's the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you love the shoes as much as I do. If you have any questions, please post down below. I'll be happy to answer anything. And um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.